Good morning class. Welcome to the online classes. Here, today we start an important topic in your part. That is a calculus. Yes, calculus that is very important for you because it's cover a 44 marks in your board exam. A calculus, when we taught, uh, when we told about the calculus, so a lots of topic are coming in this in this particular topic here we talk to you the first topic of calculus is the continuity so first we start data what is continuity a one topic already were taught in a class 11 that is a limit so here we start only the quantity topic continuity topic that is a continuity now we start the continuity the first question is arise it what is continuity let me start here if we saw that here we draw a four diagram okay the first one if we saw the first one so here we consider suppose y equals to fx we have a one function y equals to fx and we draw our lots of types okay the first one is that one graph if we saw that key at that particular value which is a if we draw on the x axis this is a x axis this is y axis if we draw on x axis suppose that point is a x equals to a that value and according to limit if we saw the neighborhood point left hand limit and the right hand limit at the same point on a same point a fx left hand and the right hand. If we talk, uh, talk about the left, so we show this one is negative symbol. If we talk about a limit, right hand, so positive symbol. That value. Both are same. Both are same. If we saw to the graph, both are same. That value. This one, left and the right value, both are the same at point x equals 2 because that difference is very small difference which is Nijalevi. So that is the both are the same but here we saw a one hole. The hole shows that uh, key limit x tends to a fx does not equals to f a. That means limit x tends to a fx at particular point at A is not exist to this point. Both are not equal. Only left equals to right but does not exit at X equals to A. Now, in second graph, we saw this. In this graph, here we have a two point. If we, here we also are talking about left and the right. We talked about the left. That value is called a left value and that one is called a right hand value. At a particular point, suppose that value is also a A. So here we see that uh, in this case, in this case, we see that ki here x a f x equals to f a. F a x does not exist, and here f a exists. Correct? Yani here that means a left equal not equals to right in this particular case. And in this graph, we see that ki both graph approach to the infinite. Left limit, limit left, if we talk about any particular point, the same point is A, which is going on to infinity. And limit negative and X tends to A positive or right end. Both are going to a approach to the negative signs. That means this one or this one okay i'm told this one or this one both both exist or any one exists in a graph part now we saw the next graph in this graph if we saw this graph to a first thing we noted in this that he that graph shows up continuous without upping a my pen i draw this one without up my pen it shows that it is a continuous here no jump 
no break, nothing else in this graph. If here we consider a one point, here we consider a one point A at x equals to A and the same thing we find the value of left and the right value on the both sides. If we find the left, so left and limit, left and limit extends to A positive fx is it equals to limit x tends to a negative fx and here circle is dark dark point that means included point that means limit x tends to a fa exist in this graph because that graph shows that the hair is no break no hole no jump nothing else this one is continuous Okay, that means that graph shows a continuous program and these graphs are not a continuous because in anyone, anyone, if we saw in anyone, here are some jump, some break, some hole are in it. Fine, that means these three graphs are called a discontinuous and this one is called a continuous. That means we conclude that. If we conclude that, then what is continuity? Continuity is a continuous process where no jump, no break in your graph, in your function at particular point. How will we find the continuity? The second question is arise that. Now, how will we find the continuity? Continuity find that left hand limit equals to left right hand limit equals to value of that point is called a continuity now we start the next point in this part firstly we remove that yes now what is continuity what's the conclusion are a function is continuous in its domain if its graph is curved without break or a jump throughout its domain is called the function is called a continuous here the function is y equals to fx if we have one graph y equals to fx then left hand limit left hand limit at a particular point plus fx is it equals to limit x tends to a left limit fx okay equals to limit x tends to a f a if these are this condition is exist in your function part then your function is called a continuous function otherwise it is not a continuous function if your function is not continuous then we say your function is a discontinuous that means your function are discontinuous before uh, this definition we saw a lots of graph and we saw, saw a lots of discontinuity here we discuss a uh, some discontinuity the first discontinuity is the removal discontinuity removal discontinuity okay the removal discontinuity is left hand limit left hand limit equals to right hand limit but does not equals to fx value limit at a point fx is not equal to if we got this limit position that our function is called a removal discontinuity the second is first kind of discontinuity first kind of discontinuity the first kind of discontinuity what is the first kind of discontinuity the first kind of discontinuity is the limit x tends to a left hand limit does not equals to limit right hand limit 
ओके ओनली विच वन एग्जिस्ट एफेक्ट एग्जिस्ट एट एक्स इक्व टू ए ओके एंड द सेकेंड काइंड द लास्ट वन इज सेकेंड काइंड ऑफ डिस्कॉन्टिन्यूटी सेकेंड काइंड ऑफ डिस्कॉन्टिन्यूटी सेकेंड काइंड ऑफ डिस्कॉन्टिन्यूटी सेकेंड काइंड ऑफ डिस्कॉन्टिटी डिस्कॉन्टिन्यूटी इज सेट टू दैट कि लेफ्ट हैंड लिमिट और अ राइट हैंड लिमिट और बोथ लेफ्ट हैंड लिमिट लेफ्ट हैंड लिमिट और राइट हैंड लिमिट और बोथ और बोथ डू नॉट एग्जिस्ट is called a second kind of discontinuity these this is a continuity definition these are the types of continuity function okay guys now that part also solve that uh, ki how to solve the continuity functions and a function first we remove this graph okay now uh the next part is that ki we see that ki which operations are hold on continuity topic we know that uh, here the four mathematical operation which we use in every topic so here we check ki which which operation are hold on this topic the first operation is that addition addition topic is that ki if we have a two function f x and g x here we consider a two function fx and gx the first is that ki limit x tends to a fx at x tends to a fx is continuous and limit x tends to a gx is continuous function then can we can be f plus g is also continuous let me check fx limit x tends to a we want to hear f plus g x correct we want to add a two function then firstly we solve this part limit x tends to a bracket fx plus gx firstly we open the bracket now open a big bracket limit x tends to a fx plus limit x tends to a gx is it equals to fa when we put the limit in our function part g a that is equals to f plus g a that's the value limit x tends to a f plus g x that means that value is shows that ki f plus g is also a continuous function similarly here we have also proved that ki f minus g is a continuous function is a continuous at x equals to z same the third one fg yani multiplication operation is also hold in continuous process if we multiply two function at x equals to a the same process which we hold that f upon g is also continuous at x equals to a these four operation is also hold a and the last one operation is that composite function which is also hold it the fifth one composite function is also called a continuous function now we say that ki these are the algebraic part in next session we start that a another part of continuation thank you class